As uh, President Obama is leaving office, do you feel he's done enough to advance black America? Yeah, it's a tricky question. I think uh, the obvious answer is he hasn't done enough. Uh, but what do we ask him to do? And so, True. you know, it's easy to blame the president for not meeting our needs or fulfilling our agenda. But I don't, I don't think we ever really gave the president an agenda. I mean, he did help HBCUs. Uh, you know, in many ways, the health care reform, the pre-existing condition stuff is going to help us as well. Uh, he was a great symbol of African-American intellectual integrity, of African-American political savvy. I mean, he's a smooth brother. He knows how to talk. You know, he knows what to say. He says it well. His family, no scandals. You know, the daughters went off the rails a little bit at the end, the oldest one. But, I mean, for the most part, I mean, he was a class act. Now, um, what we have to understand, though, is that the, the president is not a pastor. The president is not a political activist. The president really might not, may, the, pres the president may not also be a public policy wizard. And so ultimately, once he was elected, we should have demanded that he accomplish 10 so, things, right? You know, God told Moses to go to Pharaoh. He gave him something to say, let him go. He didn't just stand in front of Pharaoh and say, God sent me here. Right? He gave him something to say. Let him go. Right? God told Moses, lead the children of Israel. He gave him 10 points. Don't do this, do this, don't do this. We elected the president. We went to the ball, had a party, came home, and didn't tell him what to do. Whose fault is that? Uh, we protest, organize, and mobilize, but how do we gain political power and get our voices heard? Well, I think we need to develop our own PACs, statewide PACs, local PACs, national PAC. Uh, we need to fund ourselves. We need to pool our money. We need to begin to understand that protest without a policy demand is just a march. You know, Dr. Mm -hmm. King walked in the street, but they were they were marching in the street for legislation to be passed, a hashtag on a T-shirt, fist in the air, Black Lives Matter with no demand. It's just a march, right? It's a, it's a parade from nowhere to nowhere, not asking for anything, right? Nowhere to nowhere, nothing. What's that? That's not social change. That's just venting, right? And so we have kind of this political masturbation that we like to do, rub up against each other in the street, right, and then experience euphoria, go back home, but we haven't done anything. We just feel better. It's kind of like a monster ball approach to politics. Holly Berry told Billy Bob Thornton, I don't care what happens in my life, just make me feel good. He banged away, and then when they were tired, they laid on the floor and felt better. That's black folks. You know, we're just banging away at it in front of some building on Facebook Live. And it's, uh, it's, it, you uh, laugh it because we, people think, they, oh, it was great, right? Oh, it was amazing. Oh, yeah. we changed the world. You changed the world? Do we have a czar over law enforcement? Do we have a federal law enforcement czar? Imagine this. When they impeached Bill Clinton, they, they appointed a special prosecutor to investigate him, okay? You trying to tell me they can't appoint a special prosecutor to investigate every case of police brutality? Right? So you march in the street with the hashtag, right? LeBron wears the T-shirt to the game, but we don't have a czar investigating law enforcement de uh, departments, right? So when another black kid gets killed, you won't get a criminal conviction because the threshold is too high. The police officer says, I, was, I felt threatened, and so all the family can get is money, right? But a bag of money is a poor substitute for justice, and so mommy and daddy are drunk and paid, but the blood's still crying out. So... All I'm saying is, is that we've got to move from protest to a politics that uses protesting as a tool to get stuff done. But first of all, we've got to know what we're asking for, right? Power can see nothing without a demand. Frederick Douglass knew that. We're so far from him. And so we, we are a generation that watched eyes on the prize but never did the research. So we saw people marching in the street and thought they changed the world. We saw Selma, but we never knew in the movie what Dr. King was asking for. And so we're imitating the movie, but we're not getting nothing because we don't have the whole formula. So we got to put it back together. Um, but I want you to tell the viewers, um, uh, black America, uh, angry Americans that Trump is president, all, uh, everybody. Um, you got any final thoughts, any message you want to give out to the people? Look, we've been here before. We've been through worse. We've been through slavery. We've been through the Middle Passage. We've been through segregation. Right? We've been through uh, degradation. We've been through Jim Crowism. We're in the prison industrial complex now. If there's anything we know, we know that we can stay alive, maybe even thrive in the belly of the beast. I'm not worried about Trump or Pence. Right? I'm not worried about America over the next four years. 
because as long as we are together and have faith and fight, we win. I hate to say it. I say it all the time. I say it again. We never lost a battle that we fought, but we never won a battle until we fought. It's time for us to fight. TWT TV, Mr. Bullock. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you, man.